What's up? Mike here from Kapowcast, bringing you another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Gremlin Spider Gremlin. Uh, pretty excited about this. This review is brought to you by the Collector Zone Cantina Facebook group over there. Uh, it's a fantastic group where you can go and you can get some great collectibles at great prices. Not scalper prices, but good, affordable prices. Uh, we'll click a, uh, click a link in the description over there. You can check it out. Maybe get a request to join the group and see what that's all about. Anyways, so here we have the Spider Gremlin packaging. Looks awesome. This is the actual figure. This isn't a uh, artist rendering or a scene from the movie, despite what your eyes may be telling you. So there you have that, and it's just kind of this another image on the side, another image on the back with a little read up. So if you want to pause and read that, you can. And another image over there, Spider Gremlin on top, and blah 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 on the bottom. Uh, to open it up. You just you may have seen the unboxing. You just pull it open here, pull it out, and the, the figure will be displayed in there. But there is no figure because the figure is already out and it's already put together. Uh, Tony already did an unboxing and put that thing together. Um, apparently, it was not the easiest thing to do because uh, I guess you had to put the spider legs on and all that stuff. So uh, we're just going to cut this. I'm going to bring the guy out. And we're going to take a look and we're going to see uh, if NECA delivers another home run. And here's the spider gremlin out of his package. Um, holy crap, man. This, NECA never seems to disappoint or cease to amaze me with their level of detail combined with their price point. Because usually if you get figures with this caliber of detail and all that, you could expect to pay some kind of premium price for it. But NECA stuff is usually priced affordable. 25 30 bucks, stuff like that. Um, so it's super ideal. By the way, uh, trying out something new with some lights. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Want me to go back to the old way? Want me to keep this? It's all up to you. Just uh, let me know. But he does come with one little accessory, which he's kind of holding right here. Ugh. If we can kind of move him aside. We'll see if we can get him almost out of the shot. And good enough. It's, uh, so the one accessory we do have is this little clear chemical thing, which is what he drinks in the movie to become the spider gremlin. It looks really cool. I always love it when uh, toy companies or figures do things like this. Uh, it's something very small, but it always just looks really cool to me. Really uh, eye-catching and just adds something really good to the actual figure. Bring him back over here. And he also comes with a display base, which is this part right here. Because I, I can imagine that you cannot... Uh, get him to much stand on his own but here that is it just goes in the bottom here let's see if I can oh yeah see you're definitely gonna want the display sand because those spider legs are not at all <laughs> heavy enough and I feel like yeah those are the ends here are very kind of soft so unfortunately the display stand is a must for him which is fine, because it's still, he still <laughs> looks really awesome. Um, he does have, you know, some articulation, but let's see if we can get some kind of a, a closer look at some of the paint and details on him, because I feel like I would be doing a disservice if we didn't. All right, so getting a closer look here at our spider gremlin friend. Uh, as you can see, flawless paint, flawless detail. Get an even closer look here. And man, oh man, look at that face. Oh, that's so good. You get a good look at the side here. You can see all the little spikes and 
black paint and they just really went the extra mile on this and the when I like the the glossy paint it kind of gives it that uh, slimy look that a lot of the uh, gremlins had in the movie and there's the the, the butt I love the back here you got the the uh, fins or spikes or I don't know what you want to call it but it looks really awesome more detail there and there's not a it doesn't look like there's a part missed in him uh, if we could take a look here on the bottom they didn't even you know they put all the spikes here at the bottom too which you know the bottom and like backs of certain figures are always things that people don't skimp on, but you're, it's not like a necessity or a must. It's one of those things that when it is done, it's done well. It's it's very well appreciated, I think. But yeah, I just I cannot uh, I cannot gush enough over this guy. It's so cool looking. Okay. Kind of makes me regret that I've slept on a lot of the Gremlins NECA stuff. They actually have a, a set coming out around December of the Caroling Gremlins from the first one, which I really, I, fingers crossed, I'm really thinking about picking that guy up. Well, guys, get two of them so you can build a little, the whole group. So good. So what this guy has in stuff like paint and detail and, and all that, that great stuff, he lacks in articulation. But you look at a figure like this and you're like, I mean, what, what more can they do? I mean, everything they could do, he does pretty much. He's got some head movement, so you can kind of get like a side head. You get some more expressions out of him. Uh, his mouth here opens the slightest bit. Uh, as I'm sure you can tell, his arms move. They got, they can move around, but the ears kind of get in the way. He's got a bend in his elbow, uh, moving to the wrist. And then he's got, you know, you can kind of pose the legs a little bit. You know, if you want them more inwards, if you want them more sprawled out, you can kind of turn them a little bit. But you're not going to get, like, anything super crazy out of them. But... For what the figure is and what the guy is, you know, it works, honestly. And he just, he looks so cool. And if he's on your shelf, he's going to, he's going to drive a lot of attention to him. And he's going to be the star of the area. I mean, he almost takes up my entire table here. So he's a good, chunky size. Um, and the display base is also a great touch. And also his little, his little bottle here. And it fits in there really nice, fits in his hand perfect. It's not really loose or anything like that, so. Great job, NECA. Love it. And I'm not going to lie, uh, I don't really have a whole lot to do a size comparison with a Gremlin with. It's much relatable to the character. Uh, but I do have a NECA Donatello here. This is the movie turtle, so you can see just how big he is to a standard action figure. Like, this, this guy isn't playing around right here. And here's a spider gremlin next to another NECA figure I have, which is the Toon Turtle. Uh, pretty much the only NECA figures I have, even though I love their work, are the Ninja Turtle ones. Because those are just... Uh, they're breathtaking. They're so good. But this guy, he is also very breathtaking. And you see him in person, and you're just you're almost in awe. It looks like it could have been used in the actual movie. And here he is next to the Jim Lee Cyclops Marvel Legend. This is your standard Marvel Legend uh, body. Um, it's the Bucky Cat mold, so it's pretty safe comparison when you're trying to gauge uh, the two. All right, once again, thanks to the folks over at Collector Zone. Uh, check out that fa Facebook group, the Collector Zone Cantina Facebook group, if you're looking to. Uh, get some really great deals on great collectibles that aren't scalper prices or not, you know, some specialty shop markup prices. Uh, this guy is 
really awesome. Uh, not really a bad thing to say about it. I mean, the articulation is what it is. It's not something that is needed. It's not needed to have crazy amounts of articulation. I mean, I guess maybe, yeah, the spider legs could do a little bit more. And maybe it would... Oh! Not as hello fell over there. Uh, and maybe the... Uh, it would be nice if the legs could maybe support him. But because they wanted to go with film accuracy and make sure that these guys were so pointy and intimidating looking that uh, they can't. But, you know, they give you a display base, and that's just fine. The display base makes it, you know, it still, it doesn't detract from any of this. All right, and that'll do it for this review. Be sure to click subscribe and click the bell notification to get notified whenever we post videos on this channel. Uh, we have tons of things like uh, unboxings, uh, mystery box unboxings, more toy reviews, and of course, our show, Kapowcast, a podcast which you can find on the Pod Bros Podcasting Network, Spotify, iTunes, uh, Stitcher Radio, SoundCloud, Spotify, all that stuff. I think I said Spotify twice, but whatever. Uh, until next time, take care.